and hello welcome YouTube welcome to this video of open foam okay we're not exactly doing open foam today we're gonna do salome a little bit more so uh, like I said in the last video installing and doing salome is pretty straightforward right and installing and doing salome is pretty straightforward so let me close my terminals first one at a time Okay, so just remember I'm using Linux Mint 20. Um, if you are doing something else, uh, please do you know, make some necessary changes. I'm not going to tell you what those changes are. Uh, it takes quite a considerable uh, effort to do tutorials for every single possible OS, so I'm not going to do that. you figure it out on your own. Um, yeah, so we saw that installing Salome is pretty straightforward. Running Salome is pretty straightforward. Well, of course, uh, uh, doing it, um, getting used to it, working with it, that is another learning curve on its own. So remember, you just run the Salome script from this install directory. No installation needed, anything like that. It should work out of the box. Okay? So this is how you run it. And uh, Salome basically... Uh, oh yeah, before, before I continue... Uh, that I must give credit to this guy is a uh, Callum Douglas uh, his channel actually so shows you how to do an open form tutorial uh, plus a cat model so he's one of the first or one of the more popular ones who did Salome and open form before I'll leave the link in the description if you want to go and watch him he does it for a different geometry and a much much older version of Salome and open form so, uh, and he does not really use FreeCAD, he uses Salome to uh, do his videos, uh, to do the, the, the creation of the pads and everything. But I mean, I prefer FreeCAD. FreeCAD like, has more tools for doing all sorts of interesting shapes. The sketcher tool and everything, uh, Salome may not have as extensive a suite. So I prefer to use FreeCAD. Plus FreeCAD, you can kind of, uh, uh, I mean, it's more applicable outside open form, so always a good thing to learn. Yeah. Um, all right. So, uh, so giving him credit, but uh, again, I want to go through the rough workflow of what you will be doing. Okay. So I'm gonna make a new uh, tab here, and the idea is this: FreeCAD. Okay, FreeCAD will, you can export this thing called a step file. Okay, so how, how to mesh with Salome? You go to FreeCAD, you ex export a step file. So you export a step file, then you import it. So this is the overview, yeah? Import it into Salome. Okay, you import it into Salome. All right, and once you're done working with Viva Salome, work, work, work. So you work here. Once you're done, you will then export. Okay, export a UNV file. Okay, UNV file. All right. Once you do that, you export a UNV file. You will have this thing called uh, ide ideas to UNV form. Okay, you run this ideas to UNV form. Okay, after you run ideas to UNV form, okay, this is an open form, uh, this ideas to UNV form, and then you will have your poly mesh file. All right, this is the whole workflow. All right, your workflow starts from FreeCAD, or at least my workflow will start from FreeCAD. It will export a step file to Salome, then we can do some work in Salome, the meshing work. Then we export it as a UNV file, and we then use ideas to UNV foam, the open foam utility, to convert all of this into a poly mesh. Then after the poly mesh, you can do whatever you want, you can scale, you can do anything, that's fine. Um, of course, you can do the scaling in Salome as well, that's entirely up to you. Um, because when you import STL files or step files into Salome, you will have um, yeah, you will 
be more than likely they'll, they'll ask you whether you want to scale it down by a factor of a thousand now I prefer I mean I, I'm just more used to doing it with the transform points tool but you can use Salome as well it's a very convenient tool okay so let's show you what this uh, workflow is like so you have this pad in uh, FreeCAD all right so we were working with the pad file uh, so I want to export this into uh, a step file and it says step with colors okay I can export it into this Salome directory uh, of course, I already exported it here, but I can export it again just to show you how it's done. Okay, make sure you uh, under file, export, and make sure you have pet your correct uh, geometry selected. Then you can export it as whatever dot step. Make sure you use you uh, export it as a step with colors file. Save and replace. That will be the step file. After that, you go to Salome, where you have opened it, go to the Geometry tab, under this uh, Workbench or whatever you call it, very similar to FreeCAD, Salome has its own set of Workbenches, where you can make all sorts of shapes and everything, but uh, of course, uh, since we learned the FreeCAD, I'm not going to do the Salome stuff here, okay? Then after that, you import, go to File, Import, Step, okay? import the step file and you select the step file you want to import which is this free cat thing here and then it shows you a warning do you want to take into account the units millimeter as embedded in the file ignoring units will cause scaling as dimensions are supposed to be specified in meters so this one is the one where i'm talking about if you want if you don't want to use the transform points in your poly mesh then you have to do this you have to uh, take into account the units, okay, specified in the form. To if you don't want to use transform points later, you can uh, click yes here, and then uh, it will scale everything down by one thousand. Now, my personal preference, uh, I, I I like to use the transform points, uh, so I won't bother with this step. Okay, I I use the transform points utility as I did in the last few videos when using snappy hex mesh and block mesh. So that uh, I'll prefer to use. Okay, so I don't want to uh, scale it down by um, th that much. So I will have my shape imported into the Salome under the geometry module. Okay, so once you're in the geometry module, how are you supposed to navigate? Now, uh, I do uh, know it's kind of frustrating because FreeCAD, uh, ParaView, and Salome all have different ways of navigating the files. So for example, I have this file. Alright, I have this file. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, I have this file. Uh, uh, our ParaView file, right? I have a ParaView file. And basically, navigating you you kind of use your left mouse button to drag it around shift and uh, shift and left click to zoom in and out uh, control and right click to to drag it around like so okay control and right click to drag it around that's one set of things to kind of remember then in FreeCAD you kind of do the opposite thing you have to do left click and right click to pan it around or shift Okay, you can use the scroll wheel button, uh, or is it, I can't remember, yes. Okay, you do a left click and right click to pan it around, and you control and right click to also pan it around, shift and right click to like uh, rotate it, and of course the, the, the zooming in and out is, uh, is uh, your scroll wheel, or I can't remember, there's so many. Okay, but uh, yeah, you, you can zoom in and out using your scroll wheel or you can do it using... Uh, okay, let me see. Pan around, yeah. 
Okay, I can't remember what is it for free cat at the moment. There's just so many commands. So free cat has one set of ways to navigate your free your your STLs or, or what have you. Okay, free cat uh free cat has one, paraview has one. So this is how you pan around, zoom in and rotate. So it's a little bit annoying. Okay, Salom has yet another set. But Salom, Salom, uh you you press left and right click, it will move around. What you need to do is press Control, left and right click, or Control and right click to zoom. Uh, left click, sorry. Control and left click to zoom in and out. Control and left click to zoom in and out. Control and right click to uh, twist it around, as you can see. And then after that, if you want to pan, Control and press left and right mouse button together. Then you can pan it around, as you can see here. So, uh, well, what? Well, this com. Uh, each each uh, 3D tool, each uh, CAD software and visualization tool has a different way of navigating all these 3D shapes. Uh, just remember if you forget, uh, usually what you need to do is press Ctrl, Shift, uh, left and right click. So navigating will be a combination of these four buttons, Ctrl, Shift, left and right click. If you ever get confused, if you ever got confused, uh, just experiment around with these buttons. Control, Control, Shift, Left and Right Click. A, co any, a combination of these buttons will usually get you somewhere in the navigating of these files. If you can't remember, because remember, these, these are three different softwares with different ways of navigating. So uh, do take note. Uh, how I remember is the Control, Shift, Left and Right Click. I can't remember all at once, but I will experiment with each. Uh, with each uh, you know software with each software so that yeah I just roughly get the gist of how to work but now now we are working with Salom so we'll just use the Salom way of uh, navigating so that Salom is usually a control right click control left click or control left and right click to okay, zoom uh, rotate and pen respectively so this uh, you need to remember okay if not again control shift left and right click a combination of one of these buttons will uh, help you to work all right so uh, let's get started all right remember the last time I was saying there was some some problem with selecting all of these pipes within the heat exchanger uh, configuration if you have 50 pipes in this heat exchanger how are you supposed to select everything in here uh, in FreeCAD? Okay, it was a little bit harder to do it here, if not much harder. The Salome is much, much easier. Okay, let me show you how. Okay, uh, the video I, I, I told you before, uh, this, this guy by uh, Mr. Douglas here, he, yeah, Mr. Douglas here, uh, he, he did something very similar. Uh, yeah, but this, this version of Salome, uh, you can pretty much do it, right? Um, in a more updated way. My way is pretty much the same as his. So but uh you can you can do two things to select the faces for your shape. So remember I also want a wall, inlet and outlet. That's a bit these are basically my three shapes that I want. Uh the inlet is here, the outlet is here, or I can switch it around if I so desire. Then after that the wall will be this uh semicircle plus the, the extruded pipe on top the, the I mean the hemisphere and the extruded pipe on top hemisphere and the extruded pipe at the bottom plus all this tubing in the center so that will be my wall patch okay so similar to FreeCAD we'll try to separate these things out so what we need to do is to right click this pad 003 okay I just named it pad 003 you can name it whatever you want but this is the whole shape in step format remember step format okay so what you need to do is to do this thing called create group and you will be given the option to uh, make a, I mean select a volume to make a face to make a line or even make a point so these are the things you can do so I want to make let's say the uh, inlet face which I will just say is the top so what do I do I just type the name inlet and what is the main shape I will be get, getting this face from? It will be pet 003. If this is not selected here, just click this arrow here and select this. 
so I can just delete to demonstrate okay it's not deleting okay whatever I'll close I'll try again okay create group okay so if you do the right click over here this this thing here will be fixed if I want to create group from the more traditional way I guess you can go to this uh, uh, new entity and then you go to group and create group then you can select the pad yeah but uh, just for like if you are just starting I'll just do it this way right click the pad create group you won't go wrong there and I want to make a face which is I'll call this the inlet face okay I also call this the inlet face and what what face do I want I want this face on top okay so I call the name inlet I call the main shape pad 003 and I will just select this so once I select this uh, Salome will highlight that that patch or that face all I need to do once that once that face is selected I will just press this button called add and then it will add this face number 19 there so face number 19 will be assigned to this group called inlet so we can just press apply and we can see under the pet 003 inlet will show up so can we see the inlet face of course we can uh, we can make this pet disappear and inlet will be shown over here okay I can close okay this is the pad and okay and then this is the inlet so you see the inlet is just over there now we can do the same for the outlet let's do the same for the outlet so we can again do a create group and then we can do outlet all right so you I didn't actually have to close I'm just closing to demonstrate to you where the inlet and the outlet was so and again I can I need to select another face so I need to select the outlet faces so remember control and right click to rotate okay and then I'll select this I'll add the face 70 as the outlet so I'll just click apply and outlet will be over here okay then of course I want to select the wall I want to do a I want to make the wall so how do I do it I press select all so all the faces will be selected and if you remember just now the face number 19 and face 70 were not selected okay okay so okay select all face 19 and 70 were not selected all right if you can't remember you press select all okay select all I'll just remove first press select all and all the faces are selected then press the face you want to click the face you want to remove which is 19 so when you press uh, click face 19 you will only remove face number 19 which is the inlet patch so let's get rid of face 19 then you can do control right click to pan or rotate to the other side click this one and it will say oh this is face 70 so let's remove face 70 as well because that's what we don't want and it will say what uh, what we do we want the group to be called we want this to be called the wall group so once we have the wall group we can just click apply and the wall group will appear here and if you are satisfied we can close it all right so we can see only the inlet patch so shows the, uh, uh, the wall patch is this all right so I can uh, hide the inlet patch I'll have the wall patch here and you as you can see this part is hollow okay and so is the other side so outlet inlet now with this I have a full thing all right so I have not done the meshing yet but I have just separated the shape into inlet outlet and wall so once I do that I can just save uh, save it as a HDF file HDF file is called I mean that's the Salome standard file that you have I'll just save it here as study one or the video I'll just call this the video tutorial okay so I'm just gonna save and that's it for now so hopefully that shows you how to work with 3CAT and Salome uh, your basic workflow and hopefully in the next video we can talk about meshing okay thanks for watching I'll see you guys again bye bye